Hi, Hiram here. This afternoon I got a uh, comment on that last video that I made, the Sterno Speed Cook Stove with Heat Intensifier. Anyway, I got a comment from Colorado Camper. He said, Hiram, I'm very interested in that heat intensifier concept. That's this thing. I was wondering if it would work to help speed up the notoriously slow tea light alcohol stoves. Do you think if you cleaned out an old sterno can and filled it with alcohol and repeated this test, the previous video, that you would see similar results? If so, I'm sure we could fashion a similar intensifier out of soda can, out of a soda can for our alcohol stoves. Just an idea. <clears throat> you know, this is so cool that there are people out there that have the same kind of thoughts as I do, or I have the same thoughts as them. Last night after I did that test, I did empty out a uh, sterno can, and I put perlite in it. That's that white stone, perlite in it, and alcohol. So this morning, after I got my chores done, after lunch, I was going to do this video, and here he already wrote to me. So, that's really cool. So that's what I want to try here. I'm going to duplicate the previous test without the intensifier to see what kind of time we get, and then with the intensifier on this. Now I put the perlite in there, just to give the alcohol something to hold on to so it doesn't splash out like it would if it was just alcohol there. <clears throat> Let's light that. Okay, you can see the flame, I hope. Yeah. Okay, so I have two cups of water here. Setting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Now it's funny, this is the sterno stove with alcohol and perlite without the heat intensifier and this already has a much higher flame than there was yesterday using the uh, regular sterno. The regular sterno had nothing like this on it. So let's see what happens from here. There we have 210. Come on. 211. Come on. 212 at 1016. Okay, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 10 minutes and 16 seconds. Okay, I'm going to cut here and let this run out to see how long this two fluid ounces of alcohol lasts. Be right back. Okay, for all intents and purposes, I'm going to call this at 25, 25, 30, 25 minutes 30 seconds for run out. The temperature is popping up and down between boiling and hotter and a little bit colder. The, uh, I mean, it's still burning, but it's making the water temperature fluctuate, and it's starting to burn uh, the perlite. So let's call that at 25 minutes and 30 seconds for run out. Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Uh, came to a boil in 10 minutes and 16 seconds. Not the greatest time for alcohol, but it beat the heck out of the sterno. The sterno without the intensifier. See, that's still going on. But without the intensifier, it took 20 minutes and 15 seconds to bring two cups of water to boil from 59 degrees. This did it in about half the time. So I'm hoping that with the intensifier, we get even better time. So what I'm going to do is let everything cool off to room temperature. And then I'll redo this test using the heat intensifier. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, here I've let everything cool off. 
Let me relight this. Put the heat intensifier on this. Wow. See how it builds up that flame? Okay. Here we have two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees again. And let's see where this goes. And here we have the sterno can with the perlite and alcohol refill using the heat intensifier. You can see how the intensifier just chokes up the flame onto the bottom of the pot. So this ought to be interesting to see what it does. Here we have 210. 211. To 12 at 1021. Boiling water in 10 minutes and 21 seconds. Hmm. Now what do we do? Look how that really makes that flame go up. Okay, we got a conundrum here. When I tried this test without the heat intensifier, it brought two cups of water starting at 60 degrees to a boil, full boil, in 10 minutes and 16 seconds. As you saw from the flame camera, it had a real nice flame pattern, just maybe a little bit too uh, much space here. The gap from the top of the sterno can to the bottom of the pot is one and a half inches, about maybe a little more maybe. With the heat intensifier, that gap is only a half of an inch. So now, with the heat intensifier on it, it brought the same two cups of water to a boil in 10 minutes and 21 seconds. So that's like five seconds more. Really surprising. Again, maybe because it was there wasn't enough of a gap. Maybe with this, the heat intensifier on here, with a one inch gap, Maybe it would have heated it up even faster. Or, on the other side, maybe if this was moved up to lessen this down to about a half, down to about an inch, maybe just with the uh, sterno can would have heated it up even faster. Interesting. Looks like there's going to have to be some more thought with this. With the sterno, the heat intensifier really worked, and I think this does have a, a use for some of the alcohol stoves we did. Now, on the, uh, for the perlite that I put in here, let me go back to the little sketch that I made last night. I just filled this up with perlite to where it left a gap <clears throat> between the bottom of the heat intensifier and the perlite. You have to leave a little gap here so that the air can get in. But even with this, without the intensifier, this really made a nice flame. Sorry, I'm just thinking here. It's kind of making me wonder. So, <clears throat> I thank Colorado Camper for bringing that up. It's what I like, the ideas and helpful suggestions. Hmm. Sorry, my head's still going around with this. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'll do some more of these. I think uh, refilling the sterno cans is really a good idea because I like the sterno can because you can close it tight. Of course, you got to make sure that the stove is cooled off before you close it. But refilling these with alcohol beats the heck out of buying these for three cans for over five dollars. So thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend.
dancing with Dickinson.